I want you to cast aside all doubts, all fears, and all limitations that you have imposed upon yourself. For in this moment, we stand at the threshold of infinite possibility, where the seeds of greatness are waiting to be planted in the fertile soil of your imagination. Imagination, my dear friends, is the God-given power that resides within you. It is the very essence of creation, the force that shapes worlds and molds reality to its will. And today we shall harness this power to build an empire, not of brick and mortar, but of consciousness and manifestation. Now you may ask, Gabriel, how can I build an empire when I have nothing to my name? And to that I say you have everything you need within you at this very moment. For the empire we speak of is not one that exists in the external world, but one that takes form first in the realm of imagination. Consider for a moment the great empires of history, Rome, Britain, the United States. Before they became physical realities, they existed as ideas, as visions in the minds of those who dared to dream. And so it is with your empire. It must first be conceived and nurtured in the womb of your imagination before it can be birthed into the world of form. To act as if you're going to build an empire is to assume the state of the wish fulfilled. It is to live from the end, to experience in your mind and heart the reality of your eye, as if it already exists. This, my friends, is the secret to manifestation that I have shared with you time and time again. Let us delve deeper into this concept. When you act as if you're going to build an empire, you are not pretending or deceiving yourself. No, you are aligning yourself with the universal law of assumption. You are stepping into the shoes of the person who has already achieved what you desire, feeling the emotions, thinking the thoughts, and carrying yourself with the confidence of one who has already succeeded. Imagine for a moment that you are the head of a vast empire. How would you walk? How would you talk? How would you interact with others? Would you doubt your abilities or question your worth? Of course not. You would move through the world with an unshakable belief in yourself and your vision. This is the state of consciousness you must adopt now, in this very moment. For as you assume this state, you set in motion the forces of creation that will bring your empire into being. Remember, my dear friends, the outer world is nothing more than a reflection of your inner state of being. Change the inner and the outer must conform. Now, some of you may be thinking, but Nebula, I've tried plenty of thinking before, and nothing changed. To this I say you have not fully understood the power of imagination and assumption. It is not enough to merely think positive thoughts or recite affirmations. You must feel the reality of your desired state with every fiber of your being. When you lie down to sleep at night, do not close your eyes to the world as it appears to be. Instead, close your eyes to enter the world as you wish it to be. See yourself at the helm of your empire. Feel the weight of responsibility on your shoulders, but also the exhilaration of success. Hear the voices of those who look to you for leadership. Smell the leather of your executive chair. Taste the sweetness of accomplishment. As you immerse yourself in this imaginal scene night, night after night, you are impressing upon your subconscious mind the reality of your empire. And it is your subconscious mind, my friends, that holds the power to bring your desires into manifestation. Consider the biblical story of Joseph, who interpreted Pharaoh's dream of stag fat cows, followed by seven lean cows. Joseph understood that the dream was a presage of seven years of abundance, followed by seven years of famine. But more importantly, he acted on this knowledge, preparing Egypt for the coming hardship and ultimately saving the nation. You too must act on the knowledge of your coming empire. Prepare yourself mentally, emotionally, and spiritually for the greatness that awaits you. Cultivate the skill, the mindset, and the connections that an empire bully would possess. For in doing so, you are not merely pretending, you are becoming. Let me share with you a personal experience that illustrates this principle. Many years ago, when I was a young man struggling to make ends meet, I decided that I would become a successful author and lecturer. At the time, this seemed like an impossible dream. I had no connections, no formal education in writing or public speaking, and certainly no audience. But I understood the power of imagination and assumption. Every night before I fell asleep, I would imagine myself standing on stage before a packed auditorium. 
I could hear the applause, feel the energy of a crowd, and see the rapt attention on their faces as I shared my teachings. In my imagination, I held my published books in my hands, feeling their weight and texture, seeing my name on the cover. During the day, I acted as if this were already my reality. I carried myself with the confidence of a successful author and speaker. I spoke about my ideas with passion and conviction, even if my audience was just one person. I wrote tirelessly, honing my craft, believing that my words would one day reach millions. And lo and behold, my friends, that reality came to pass. Not overnight, not without effort, but with an unwavering from the power of my imagination. The empire in my, my mind became manifest in the physical world. This is the power that lies within each of you. The empire you seek to build, be it in business, in the arts, in philanthropy, or in any other field already existing potential. Your task is to bring it forth through the creative power of your imagination. Now let us address a common misconception. Acting as if you're going to build an imp does not mean ignoring the present reality or neglecting the practical steps necessary for success. On the contrary, it means approaching your current circumstances with the mindset of an MP builder. If you are currently working an entry-level job, do not despair or resent your position. Instead, see it as the first step in your empire-building journey. Approach each task, no matter how mundane, with the dedication and excellence a CEO. For in truth, you are the CEO of your own life, the rule of your inner kingdom. Remember the words of scripture, he who is faithful in little is always paid. By proving your worth and capability in your current circumstances, you are laying the foundation for the empire to come. The skills you develop, the relationships you forge, the reputation you build, all of these are pure elements in the manifestation of your vision. Moreover, as you act from the state of having, having achieved your goal, you will find that opportunities begin to present themselves. Doors that were once closed will mysteriously open. People who can aid you in your journey will be drawn to you, almost as if by magic. But it is not magic, my dear friends. It is the law of attraction and action responding to the changes in your consciousness. Let me give you an example to illustrate this point. Imagine two individuals, both aspiring entrepreneurs. The first constantly doubts himself, focuses on his limitations and approaches potential investors with a sense of desperation. The second, having applied the principle we're discussing today, carries himself with the confidence of a successful business owner. He sees each meeting not as a plea for help, but as an opportunity to share his vision and invite others to be part of something great. Which of these two do you think is more likely to succeed? Which one would you be more inclined to support or invest in? The answer is clear. By assuming the state of success, by acting as if your empire is already a reality, you become a magnet for the very opportunities and resources you need to make it manifest. But let me caution you, my friends. This is not about ego or arrogance. The empire builder we speak of is not a tyrant or a despot, but a visionary leader who owns that true power lies in service to others. As you act as if you're building an empire, cultivate also the qualities of wisdom, compassion, and responsibility. For what good is an empire if it does not uplift humanity? What value is there in wealth and power if it does not fly up higher purpose? The greatest empires in history are those that have contributed to the advancement of civilization that have left the world better than they found it. So as you imagine your empire, see also the positive impact it will have on the world. Visualize the lives that will be improved, the problems that will be solved, the beauty that will be created. Let this be the driving force behind your actions, the fuel that powers your imagination. Now, my dear friends, I want you to understand that the journey of banding an empire is not always smooth or easy. There would be challenges, setbacks, and moments of doubt. But it is in these moments that the power of your imagination becomes most crucial. When faced with obstacles, do not succumb to fear or despair. Instead, return to your imaginal scene. Step once again into the reality of your completed empire. Feel the strength, the resilience, 
the unwavering faith of the person who has overcome all challenges to achieve their vision. From this state of consciousness, approach your problems not as insurmountable barriers, but as opportunities for growth and innovation. For every great empire in history has faced its share of challenges, and it is in overcoming these challenges that empires are forged and leaders are made. Consider the story of Abraham Lincoln who failed in business, suffered a nervous breakdown, and lost multiple elections before becoming one of the greatest presidents in American history. Or think of Steve Jobs, who was ousted from the company he founded only to return years later and lead Apple to unprecedented success. These individuals did not allow their circumstances to define them. They held fast to their vision. They acted as if their empires were destined to be built. And in doing so, they reshaped the world. You too have this power within you. The challenges you face are not punishments or signs of failure. They are the very tools by which your empire will be built, the forge in which your character will be tempered. As you go through your daily life, I want you to be acutely aware of your thoughts, your emotions, and your actions. Are they aligned with the empire you intend to build? Are you thinking the thoughts of an empire builder? Are you feeling emotions of someone who knows their success is assured? Are you taking the actions that your future self would be proud of of? If you find yourself slipping into doubt or negativity, do not judge yourself harshly. Simply acknowledge the thought or emotion and then consciously choose to realign yourself with your vision. This is the practice of living from the end of maintaining the state of the wish fulfilled. Let me share with you a technique that I have found particularly powerful in maintaining the state of consciousness. Throughout your day, pause for a moment and ask yourself, how would I be seeing this situation if my empire were already built? This simple question can shift your perspective dramatically, allowing you to approach even the most challenging circumstances from a place of power and possibility. For instance, if you're faced with a difficult decision, instead of feeling overwhelmed, ask yourself, how would the successful leader of my empire handle this situation? By doing so, you tap into a wellspring of wisdom and confidence that you may not have realized you possessed. Remember, my friends, the empire you are building is not separate from you. It is an extension of your consciousness, a manifestation of your innermost being. As you grow and evolve, so too will your empire. As you expand your consciousness, so too will the reach and impact of your vision. This is why personal growth and self-reflection are crucial elements in the process of empire building. Take time each day to nurture your mind, body, and spirit. Read voraciously not just in your field of expertise, but across a wide range of subjects. For true innovation often comes from connecting ideas across disparate fields. Practice meditation or contemplation, allowing yourself moments of stillness amidst the business of building your empire. In these moments of quiet, you may receive inspirations and insights that can propel your vision forward in ways you never imagined. Care for your physical health as well for a strong body supports a strong mind. The demands of empire building require stamina, energy, and resilience. By treating your body as a valuable instrument, it is to ensure that you have the vitality needed to bring your vision to life. And perhaps most importantly, cultivate relationships with others who share your vision and values. Surround yourself with those who believe in you and your empire, even if they cannot yet see it in the physical world. Their faith in you will strengthen your own faith in yourself. But be cautious, my dear friends, of those who would seek to diminish your vision or discourage you from your path. Not everyone will understand the empire you are building, especially in its early stages. Some may scoff at your ambitions or try to convince you to settle for less. These voices, both external and internal, you must learn to say with kindness but firmness. I appreciate your concern but I know the truth of who I am and what I am capable of achieving. For in the end, it is your belief in yourself and your vision that will determine the success of your empire. As we near the conclusion of our time together, I want to emphasize once more the importance of persistence and patience in this process. Rome, as they say, was not built in a day, and neither will your empire be. 
But every day, with every thought, every emotion, and every action aligned with your vision, you are laying the foundation and erecting the pillars of your empire. Trust in the process, my friends. Trust in the law of assumption. Trust in the creative power of your imagination. For as surely as night follows day, the seed planted in the fertile soil of your mind will grow and bear fruit in the physical world. Let me leave you with this final thought. The empire you are building is not just for you. It is for all those whose lives will be touched and transformed by your vision. It is for the generations that will come after you who will build upon the foundation you have laid. So act as if you're going to build an empire, not just for your own sake, but for the sake of all humanity. Let your vision be grand, let your actions be bold, and let your faith be unshakable. For in truth, my dear friends, you are not just building an empire. You are participating in the grand creative process of the universe itself. You are fulfilling your divine purpose, expressing the infinite potential that lies within you. As you leave this place today, carry with you the knowledge that you are already the emperor or empress of your own consciousness. The throne is yours to claim. The crown is yours to wear. Step into this role with grace, with confidence, and with the unwavering certainty that your empire is not a possible civility, but an inevitability. Go forth, my friends, and build your empires, not in some distant future, but here and now, in the only moment that truly exists. For as you assume the state of the wish fulfilled, as you live from the end, you set in motion forces beyond your comprehension that will work tirelessly to bring your vision into reality. Remember the world is waiting for your empire. It is waiting for the unique gifts that only you can bring, for the problems that only you can solve, for the beauty that only you can create. Do not keep the world waiting any longer. Act as if you're going to build an empire and watch in awe as the universe conspires to make it so. For in the end, my dear friends, it is not just an empire you are building, but a new world, a world shaped by your imagination, brought into being by your faith and sustained by your love. Go now and create. Go now and build. Go now and become the emperor or empress you were always meant to be. The power is within you. The time is now and the world is waiting. Thank you. And may your empires flourish beyond your wildest dreams.